What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 45 of Top 5 Niches of the Week. I am back from vacation. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling focused and ready to get back to work. So today I'm going to bring you five top selling print on demand niches that hopefully can make you some money. Let's get started. Before we get started, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, because typically over half my viewers aren't subscribed, you can look forward to some of these videos dropping this week. I'm going to redesign some of your t-shirts from Amazon Merch. I'm going to do a video on five benefits of being a bad graphic designer. It's kind of funny, but also true. And I'm going to do some Redbubble shop reviews. Now we got two winners to announce from this week's print on demand. Well, last week's print on demand giveaway. Congrats to the winners. I'll email you as soon as I get this video up. And this week we have a new giveaway. You can actually find the link in the description right now. Also in the description, you can find a link to my free eight day print on demand mini course delivered via email and my print on demand Facebook group. I'd love to have you there if you want to join. All right, let's get started with these top five niches. Niche number one is stop Asian hate. It's tied to a uh, recent event where, you know, very negative, where there was violence taken against members of the Asian community in the United States. I don't want to say too much because, you know, the YouTube algorithm is so weird with how it polices what people that publish content to the platform can say, but for sure not a positive thing. It's very negative. And uh, these shirts are trying to spe spread a positive message and stand with the Asian community, which is something that we can all hopefully get behind. These shirts are selling really well, but they're relatively new. Um, so, if, you know, if you follow the news cycle and you're kind of um, agile as far as identifying opportunities to um, spread positive messages on T-shirts in this case, um, then, you know, this is obviously going to favor and reward those that are early to the trend um, more than those that are a little bit later to the trend. But this is still relatively new. And there's a lot of different takes you can have on these designs. So the first row of shirts on page one has about a 300,000 average BSR. Second row on page one, uh, BSRs are about 250,000, 211,000, 80,000, and 900,000 behind me. So here is the shirt that put this on my radar from Flying Research. And you can see the BSR is about 78,000. Uh, BSR history only goes back to March 19th because this is a relatively new thing. And you can see there at the bottom some keywords that you can include in your listing as far as um, keywords that you want to be indexed on for your products. All right, niche number two. Now, I'm not really sure why this is selling as well as it is. And this is not necessarily a really best-selling niche as far as what I typically try to provide you guys on the top five niches. But I wanted to suggest this one because it wasn't a very crowded niche. Now, that can be good and bad. Sometimes when I say it's not crowded, I mean it's not oversaturated as far as t-shirts that were indexed on the keywords that I was looking for when I was researching this niche. Now that could be because there's some, you know, landmine keyword that gets you rejected. It could be that, I, I don't know, you know, the merch algorithm, as you guys I'm sure know, is not very clear when you find something that you, you're like, oh, there should be more shirts indexed on this. Why isn't there more? Now, there wasn't so few that I thought this wasn't safe, but I'm just saying, use caution here. Like, I, I went ahead and I trademark researched uh, Ani Harajaku. Um, I think that's Japanese, so I don't, don't know how to pronounce it. But there were no records found. Okay, so that doesn't mean this is safe, though. You should still look up all your keywords before posting anything to Amazon Merch, just to be safe. But you can see this first shirt here, which is the one that Flying Research put on my radar. 27,000 BSR, and it's basically just a red skull. Um, the keywords they used in their title are Japanese demon art face skull devil oni harajuku aesthetic shirt. Now, what I found interesting is looking at page one, it seemed like there was no consistent set of keywords that were the primary drivers of sales. Like, for instance, if we go back up to niche number one, the three keywords everybody's going to be crowded into are stop Asian hate. Those are the three keywords that everybody's going to be targeting. Now, niche number two, you see that there's a pretty wide arrangement of primary keywords that these shirts are indexed on. So to me, it just represented an opportunity. Like these BSRs aren't blowing me away, but also something else I noticed when I was researching this niche was that a lot of the products on page one had sales. So they may not be best-selling, you know, really high demand trends right now, but if you can join this niche and maybe make a sale, you know, I did a video last week on evergreens. Um, evergreens are designs that you can make sales on at any time of the year. They're not tied to specific dates. Now, again, I don't really understand this niche. If it is tied to a date, um, then, you know, it's over my head. But it looks to me like this could be an evergreen niche that's not too crowded, that's, 
you know, top heavy in that one shirt selling really well right now. Uh, but I wanted to put it out there, put it on your radar, especially because right now it's like the news cycle is not providing us much as far as like fresh trends to target. And oftentimes that's how a lot of people make, um, at least if you're in like tier 10, for instance, you'd, you'd want to be targeting the the really hot fresh trends in the news cycle where you can kind of be early and carve out a piece of a new niche, a new pie, as opposed to diving into like Easter, where we have a bunch of old shirts that you're going to be competing with as along with the new ones. So here you can see the BSRs were 27,679,000, 1.4 million, 500,000, 7.4 million, 1.3 million on the hoodie. But that hoodie has seven reviews. So that hoodie is selling like an evergreen year round is my guess. And the one behind me, about 500,000 BSR. So here's the bestseller. Um, when Flying Research last updated, this had a BSR of about 27,000. And look at the, the BSR history dating back to October of last year. What you'll notice is this is averaging a BSR of around 50,000. So I was right when I called this. It's most likely an evergreen, and that is what you want. You want to be indexed on evergreens that make you consistent sales year-round. All right, niche number three. Now, I'm not exactly sure why this one was also selling as well as it was because this does seem kind of like a random evergreen more than a trend, but it says not a hugger, and it's got a picture of a cactus. And you can see here the BSRs range from pretty low to as high the one behind me is like 3 million but the ones that you see here 31,000 BSR 232,000 336,000 500,000 this one I thought was interesting it was also on page one it says not a hugger but it's a porcupine instead of a cactus so this not a hugger niche probably has a lot of good sub niche potential and it's kind of funny and it also kind of plays into the social distancing aspect of 2020 2021 and here are all of them that were indexed on flying research well not all of them but a bunch of them um, so you can see there's like a namaste six feet away so it's kind of like a yoga take you've got the cactus not a hugger you've got caution not a hugger porcupine not a hugger then you've got some vaccinated still not a hugger shirts and that's a little bit of a uh, preview for niche number four which is going to be tied to um, the vaccinated stuff because those are also selling pretty well right now as well if you follow the news cycle you guys already knew that uh, not a hugger. So this is the bestseller that you see here, 30,000 BSR. And you can see the primary keywords down there that are driving traffic to this listing. Cactus, hugger, shirt, gifts, vintage, funny, sarcastic style. So those are all kind of secondary keywords. Looks like the primaries are cactus, hugger, shirt that you'd want to be targeting. And by the way, this is from Flying Research. You can find a link to it in the description. If you guys want to check this tool out, I know that you know while it was free, a lot of you guys were loving it, and that translated into whenever they ended the long free trial. It was free for like a month and a half, I think. Um, a lot of you guys ended up paying for it because you had such good results with it. So if you guys want to check that out, link in the description if you're not using it. Uh, so niche number one and niche number four. Uh, actually, no, I need to update that. It's not niche number one. It was niche number three and niche number four that this was uh, actually tied to with the not a hugger and then niche number four here related to getting vaccinated. So the whole vaccinated niche is honestly probably the, the in my mind, like if you just follow the news cycle for current events, probably the highest demand high level niche that you can carve out sub niches in. Like if you're in tier 10, put it this way, if you're in tier 10, you probably want to be attacking the vaccinated parent niche because there's lots of sub niche potential. Um, and as I just showed you here, niche number three plus niche number four, hugger, not a hugger plus vaccinated or plus social distance or plus whatever. You know what I mean? Um, I, I mean, I wouldn't really wear these shirts. I don't get why people want them. But if, you know, the BSR speaks for itself, put it that way. So you can see here, this one says, I got vaccinated, but I still want you to stay away from me. I got vaccinated, stay away. Etc. It's basically the vibe here. And you can see the BSR is about 277,000, 650,000, 900,000, 500,000. Um, there, by the way, the whole page one has sales. So this is another kind of cra crowded niche, semi crowded. Uh, this is just one sub niche of the parent vaccinated niche. And uh, you can definitely make some big sales here, especially if you climb to the top of page one, there's, there's money to be made. So you can see this one's got uh, 24,000 BSR. And you can see the BSR history going back to about December 26th. It looks like it was at about 400,000. Then it just dropped straight to about 70,000 and has been ever since, you know, this year, 2021, January 1st ish, uh, the BSR has been steadily improving from that 75,000 to 100,000 mark all the way down to, it looks like it's normalized, um, 
beneath 50,000 now. So this guy's making a lot of money. Niche number five. And I was wondering why am I seeing so many like autism slash autism awareness shirts? Well, I Googled it. Autism awareness day is April 2nd. I know that's very soon. So you don't have too much time to pile into this niche, but because it was selling so well, and I was seeing like a pattern of all of these shirts that weren't there last week that are there this week. I wanted to make sure I put it out there. So Friday, April 2nd is uh, autism awareness day and niche number five. I'm just going to say as a whole full spectrum parent high level niche autism awareness, because there's so many sub niches you can get into a bunch of these are selling really well right now. I mean, this could have, this could have been a whole episode on autism awareness, but it's kind of late for that. So I just wanted to put this on your radar though. So you can see here like autism awareness lion. Uh, it's okay to be different with a lion. Uh, the next shirt is kindness ribbon heart t-shirt for autism awareness. And by the way, uh, that ribbon, I, I think I've seen in the past where people got in trouble cause it may be IP protected. So I'd probably not use the ribbon with the puzzle pieces, uh, specifically, you know, again, do your research. I'm not telling you any one design to go after or like try to replicate or anything like that. I'm just saying autism awareness, these shirts, this high level niche are selling really well, but do your own research. And the best place to start is by looking at what's already on the Amazon merch catalog. But also that's not a perfect um, indicator of what's allowed and what's not allowed. But obviously if it's not allowed, even, even if it should put, I always like to give, give this reminder, even if it should be allowed, if the Amazon merch algorithm is rejecting it, it doesn't matter if it should be allowed or not. You're still going to get a rejection, right? So I always say, start with what the merch algorithm allows, which is when you use the search merch tool and find products similar to what you want to sell. And keywords that you want to use already approved is a great place to start your research. All right. So here, and I just wanted to show you date first available. So this one shirt on the left-hand side, the autism awareness lion, 400,000 BSR date first available March 4th, 2021, which is only, you know, a little bit over two weeks ago. So whenever you start seeing new listings that are selling, that's a good indicator that it may be safe. And that, uh, you know, this niche as a whole is selling pretty well. All right, here's one of the best sellers that Flying Research put on my radar. It's not the best seller. I probably saw like eight, eight, nine, ten of these before I was like, okay, wait, I'm seeing a pattern here. So this one's 74,000 BSR. And you can see that the uh, BSR has been trending in the right direction. Um, basically, it looks like it's, it's normalized under 300,000 since mm, February, February-ish. And it's been, the BSR has been improving since then. All right, looking ahead, if you guys want to sell date related, um, you know, calendar event related weird holiday shirts, well, this isn't a weird holiday, but April 4th is Easter. Just wanted to remind you guys, April 15th is the taxes due date. I think they may have extended it this year, but uh, I think I heard something about that. But anyways, the taxes related shirts are always a funny way of, you know, nobody likes taxes, right? So find a joke related to people hating filing taxes and sell some shirts related to that. April 16th, Mushroom Day. April 17th, Herbalist Day. April 18th, International Jugglers Day. Do you guys know how to juggle? All right, bonus t-shirts. These are shirts that I picked out while I was doing my research that I liked for any particular reason. So these aren't necessarily bestsellers, although this one actually was selling pretty well. And this is like a Bigfoot design that's cross-niched with Easter and the Easter bunny ears and the Easter eggs. And I just like this design in general. I like that it was optimized for that specific t-shirt color, the gray t-shirt color. And when you do this, it's just a nice opportunity to stand out in search results. Oftentimes it's, uh, you know, a lot of black t-shirts that dominate the search results because if you enable black, it typically defaults to black. As you can see here, this seller did not enable black. They enabled the like gray, the light blue, the silver, the green. So they were in the light heather and the pink. So they were specific in how they optimized this design. And I also just like the design. I like the niche. And this one too, I really like this design. It's like an astronaut uh, outer space. He's hanging on the planets as balloons. And it's just a really well executed design. Really good usage of the full canvas space there. Even the like, you know, empty space he or he or she uh, filled them up with stars. You can see so that it, it looks like you're getting a lot of bang for your buck because the whole design space is full and also the graphic design also just did a great job. So I wanted to share that design with you as well. All right, deleted designs, pulled these from the Merch Ninja research tool in case you wanted to take a glance at some designs that have been removed recently. I'm not necessarily sure as to why they may have been removed. I mean, the 7-Eleven ones can just guess that they were infringing on the 7-Eleven 
uh, intellectual property. You can see one there that looks like it's infringing on Disney that says Queen. And you got like a cat that is stolen. Well, not stolen, but it's using that Among Us design style. And so you just want to stay away from anybody else's intellectual property. So those ones are pretty easy to spot. Oh, and then Dare. So that's also a, probably a protected brand. All right. I promise there'd be another giveaway, guys. If you guys would, would like to enter this week, it's completely free. RyanHogue.com forward slash giveaway. I'll also put a link to it in the description. Two lucky winners are going to be selected next Sunday to win my print-on-demand mega pack. This week, sponsored by Merch Titans Upload Automation, Merch Ninja Research Tools for print-on-demand, and All Sunsets Premium Pre-Made Sunset Graphics for your designs. I use these all the time. All right, so that's RyanHogue.com forward slash giveaway. Thank you so much, guys, for watching till the end. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video, and comment below. Let me know if I missed any of the best-selling niches, or if you have any questions on these niches or anything like that, feedback, let me know in the comments below. Also, just wanted to remind you guys that I wrote a full print-on-demand course, 10 modules, over 100 lectures, just walks you through basically everything I do to run my print-on-demand business that does six-figure sales every single year. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.